All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here. This is episode 24 of the Modded Minecraft. Let's play Direwolf 20 Mod Pack of Doom. No, no, not of Doom. Not really of Doom, but it is with me, Delton. Um, this episode, I am going to get some draconic armor going on here. Now, I was thinking about doing the helmet. But I think maybe we should start with the chest plate. The reason why is because I can actually start doing the jetpack attachment to it. And that'll be good. Now, RF capacity, RF shield. I think the shields are actually pretty decent. I think it's actually better than the dark plate, possibly. I don't know. But I mean with the dark plate helm and the dark stuff I can actually put on like uh, you know like night vision or can I do respiration I don't know I don't know but I do have flippers and 70% damage absorbed I, I, I just don't I don't know I wanted to do the draconic armor but now that I'm looking at it uh, I mean, what can it do for me? That's quite a bit of uh, RF that it holds. Four million? That's crazy. And I think it does a pretty good job at actually resisting damage. But I do need to start doing some of this draconic stuff. Now, the, the main goal of this episode here is going to be getting to the deep dark and I believe it is done this way let me double check right nine yes and we make a circle like that deep dark portal there we go so with this deep dark portal, and it sounds pretty bad, we are going to be able to basic. We're basically going to be making an. I'm putting it right here, and I'll show you. I believe. Uh, ooh, spooky circle. Okay, am I going to be able to get back? Wow, that is dark. Oh, it just needed a an update to that. Okay, so, welcome to the deep dark. It is kind of dark. Let's go ahead and remove that and start going down now I don't know exactly how far down we're gonna need to go but I am gonna click that on so that occasionally we hit a we get some light because we don't want nasty spawning down here Let's keep going. Now from what I understand, this actually does go down quite a bit. But I'm going to be able to get more resources out of this if I set up a mine down here. Just got to make sure that I don't hit because we're going to be coming into the ceiling I guess because it's like a giant cave I don't know I don't know I've never played with this mod before so we shall see plus not only that I don't have a jetpack I do have my glider which I know how to use that and I have my teleportation wand. But let's double check. Let's see what this is like. 
Come on, I know it's got to be here somewhere. Right? It's got to be here somewhere? Hello, somewhere? Like I'm miles under the surface. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Alright, we'll just kind of jump right here. And as you can not really see, because, you know, is deep and is dark, hence deep dark. We are way off the ground. Now I'm just kind of throwing the light out here so we can see. But look at that. This is where we're going to be able to get some some materials. I don't really care about cobblestone and stone anymore. Because I've got way too much. Way too much. What I am concerned about is if I do go down there, what can I expect? Now, let's go ahead and put that back. That's probably the longest one. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, don't ever travel straight down. Wow, this place is amazing. Just kind of put these on the end, kind of like they're, like they're lanterns. How much further can I go before I run into a problem? Okay, I could go a little bit further. I can already see quite a bit of mobs down there. That I am afraid of. Look at that. Is that a column? That is a column, and so is that. Woo! This place is... This place is scary. Oops. I only wanted to do that. Now, as you can see, that's where we popped out. What can we do from here? I think we can nail him, right? Yep, nailed it. All right, we need to figure out what we're doing. Let me go back. And... Okay, so we're here. I'm going to go ahead and not necessarily assume, but I'm going to start looking into what kind of mining. Like what kind of miner that I need. Now there's the shape card over here. I put it in here. Yeah, I put the shape card in here. Now that's a clearing quarry. What I can do is void the cobble and the stone let's double check this RF tools now what we can do shape card void I don't necessarily want to do that solid box Silk quarry would be nice, but how do I get dimensional shards? Now that I have the nether star, 
How do I get dimensional shards? I don't know. Oh, we can start doing dimensions. Oh my goodness. So many fun things that I'm starting to learn how to do. That's that's good. Okay, so we've gotten to the deep dark. That'll get a get us basic materials. Let me think about what we can do as far as a quarry goes and how to get the materials back. I believe as long as we have a ender chest, that'll be fine. And what we can do, you put it into the ender chest. And from the ender chest, I can put one here and pipe it into kind of a, a maybe a few of these barrels or drawers. Oh, ooh, um, one of the two. Anyway, I'll be right back, guys. Let me look into this and find out exactly what I need to do as far as the quarry goes and how to get that from the dimension to this dimension. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so it looks like I'm making a couple of na uh, night vision potions here. I only need one to attach to my helmet, so I'm just going to take the one here. That's all I need. There we go. So now, even though I have light... Okay, so it looks like what I need to do is hit a certain button, and that button is... P. So... This is night vision. Now the problem is I won't know what's dark and whatnot unless I have it activated. And you can see, you can kind of see the difference there. There's shadows, there's night vision. Now the question is, is that draining my power? I think it's just on. doesn't say that it's taking any power now I want to know what the one probe is I am gonna research that off power off power off camera off camera I'm gonna research what that is unless someone tells me in the comments below so I'll just leave that on not that I'm gonna leave the night vision on so you guys can see now let's get back into the deep dark should I put the portal over here And we'll see exactly where, what it's like. <laughs> that was pretty sad. Oh boy. Looks like fog down there. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Let's... You know what I'm going to do off camera? I'm just going to... Now, as far as the miner goes, all I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer mine down here, but I'm going to need to make a chunk loader. Unless I do this. I am in a team. Oh. Oh, well. It is what it is. So I can glider. Turn the glider on. And just kind of fly around whoa so it looks like that cavernous type of stuff works from extra utilities now from what I've seen there's these pillars but then there's cobblestone trees not cobblestone trees I'm sorry bedrock trees and also, see there's those trees, but those are from that cave. That's from extra utility, not extra utilities, actually additions. I'm just kind of flying around here. Now if I didn't have night vision on, it would look like this. So I'll keep that on for us. Oh, I'm being attacked by shadow. And here comes the mobs now. Let's get out of here. Okay. 
So obviously we need to do a little bit more stuff here. I know we can, and we're going to need to get some better stuff going. I want to turn that off. Because here it's pretty well lit up. So that's the plan. The deep dark. The deep dark. I need to tackle that. What I do want to tackle as well is getting a jetpack instead of just the glider. I want to actually get a jetpack going on this thing. So let me show you. So Ender, you go here. I need to make this jetpack attachment. Now I need advanced alloy, which I need a compressor for. Oh wow. <laughs> So it looks like I need iron plates, bronze plates, and tin plates into this mixed into a compressor. Now I need a compressor. Basic machine casing I have, but I need I need a couple of these. Insulated copper. Obviously I get two if I do that. Okay. Maybe a metal former. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I have done a little bit of stuff. I'm putting it back here. It's it's only a battery box, a generator, and an extractor. But I do need to get the compressor going. I need to... <laughs> yeah. I need the metal former. That should really be the only two things. Really the only two things. The compressor and the... What was it? The metal former? Yeah, the metal former. Which I think is up here somewhere. It's mixed in up here. One of these. One of these things. It's one of these things. Extractor. Compressor. Iron furnace. Oh, maybe the macerator. No, not the macerator. I don't need the macerator. I need... Where is it? Ah! It's in here somewhere. Metal former. There it is. It's the metal former. That's what I need. It was hiding under my nose the entire time. Look at that. Boom. So with the metal former, I may have to do three. I'm not too sure, but I'll have to look into it. If I do... So, line. I don't know if this is a configurable setting on it, or if I have to use a certain tool for it, but I'm definitely going to need to make one of these. With one of these, it's going to be able to do the coils and all that type of stuff, blah, 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 and all that all that jazz. But in order to do a lot of this stuff, I'm doing the electronic jetpack. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this down and make the water wheel, the water mill. So I think all I need to do is just place some place some water down here, let it flow, and it'll just generate power instead of using all the coal. So that that's that's just a thought. It's something that I'll have to do. But that being said, I'm gonna make a couple just the other two that I need and I'm gonna place them here and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so here's what I have so far. I have now made the metal former and just like I thought, you could just push the little button here and cycle through what you want. So if you want cutting if you want extruding, if you want rolling, so if you want the plates, if you want the cables, and I don't, I don't know what the extruding does. I'm gonna have to exp I'm gonna have to experiment with that one, but that's that's what I have so far. Now I need to put a couple more of those in here. I made put the water mills in. I'm generating power, freely generating and losing power. I don't really care. This isn't a main power source. This isn't a main machine for me. So if I run out of power, I don't care. My main power source is actually the canola right now, which isn't really connected or isn't just always running. So I want to upgrade this to a 25, maybe a couple of 25s, maybe put a whole power bank in, but expand the wall. And instead of just lasers, I want to actually put the cables. I mean, we've got enough... We have enough materials to do that, and I want to centralize it too. I kind of want to move it away from there, and shh, 
guys over here Shh, guys you guys are in the wall quiet down kind of centralize it maybe put it over here move the whole operation actually you know what I could probably just put it I'll just probably put it back here generate power and put it behind this because this is going to be where all my stuff is and I'm going to eventually automate these and all that type of stuff just block that whole area up won't need it after after I move it I'd have to move all of this though move these move that oh a little bit of a little bit of lag but I'd have to move the farm up top so I don't know I don't know. Maybe I'll just run cables. Not a big deal. That's not a big deal. It doesn't bother me. So, cable running, not a big deal. But, just wanted to show you the little bit of progress that I made. The next thing that I have to make is... Compressor. Yeah, we need to make the compressor is the next thing that I need to make, so I'm going to have to get a little bit of a little bit more stuff. I'm going to actually use the machine to use these iron plates. I'm going to put them in this and see what it's like, and then I need to go ahead and craft it. I'm going to extrude. Is that it? is that what I'm going to do? I'm going to extract. I'm going to do something. But I am definitely going to do the cutting. Maybe extruding. I think extruding goes from ingot straight to the cable. I'll double check. But I'll be right back with that information for you. Okay, so we're rolling eight. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed to do. I'll bring it back when it's done. Okay, so I'm going to put one of these in and see what extruding does on this. I think it's going to bring out some copper cables, but I don't know how many it's going to bring out. Three. Well, that works, because I need six. There we go. All right, let's put the six in here, encase it with rubber. Okay, now I need to go over here, blah, 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 all this stuff, all this. Okay, let me grab the compressor, which is what I need, the electrical. There we go. Now, I need six pieces of any of these materials. Let me go grab that real fast. What do we have the most of? Eh. That works. Now, we could do this. Compressor. Done. I have the compressor. Hooray! Now, let's just place it there. Yep, it's still going to get the... Excellent. So I'm still using the same area. Now what I need to do... What is it that I need to do? I need to do this. So that'll make the compressor. Now to make these I need three tin plates, three bronze plates, and three iron plates. Not a big deal. And I was making this for... Oh yeah, the jetpack attachment. All right, let's get let's get the Kraken on that. Oh yeah, we were actually making this for all of this too. Ooh, iron item casing, electronic jetpack. I need to do this around all of that stuff. But at least I have the machinery. This is the machinery that I need to do all of that. This to get all the, you know, you know all this stuff. You know what I need. That's the stuff that I need. All right, so I need a bat box. So I'm going to have to make all of this stuff over again. And I'm going to need an advanced circuit, which is more electronic. I'm going to need the actual attachment plate. Oh, that's right. I'm going to need... Ah, that's the reason. Another reason why I did this. Rock, carbon, mesh, coal, sand. Excellent. Just 
There's just so much grinding on all of this that I need to do. So, let me do that. Get all the materials together. And I'll be right back with you. As a matter of fact, what I'm probably going to do is we'll finish that off in the next episode. During, in between episodes, I'm going to gather the materials and get them ready to go. So if you guys like the content, smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And of course, share and favorite this video however you guys want to do it. Get it out there. And I will see you guys in the next one.